my name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, the Darkest Republic Estate thereof. Alright, let's sort by level. Oh baby, what options do we have available to us? Prophet's Eye, I'm interested. Ancestral Lantern, it's a it's, it's thing that exists. Hmm. It's also the Hunter's Talon, which I think I've turned down before. Alright, let's have a look how the Nomad Wagon is doing. Alright, there is a Gunslinger's Buckle. I do want it. Do want it. I actually kind of want the Moon Cloak more, though. Hmm. I have a Gunslinger's Buckle at the moment. Do I have a Moon Cloak? Because Moon Cloak is going to be really important for Dark Light runs. I'm going to buy it. And I'll increase the size of the wagon so that I have more things to check out next time I come there. Alright then. I'm feeling like we either want to go for the Brigand 16 Pounder or the Gibbering Prophet. If I'm going for the Gibbering Prophet, I'm going for the backline damage, which means I'm taking Bodecock. And you're a Ruins Tactician, don't mind if I do. Let's also have you lock in your fucking Battle Trance, because I realized recently that you actually have to lock that shit in. Uh, okay, if we're gonna have her do that, she's going to need to pick up... Higher level abilities in literally goddamn everything, except for Bleed Out, because Bleed Out is useless. I mean, I mean, Bleed Out is o Bleed Out is useless, let's face it. For her specifically, at least. She'd also need to increase her accuracy a little. Maybe I give her a Sun Ring, 10 accuracy, 15 damage. That's actually really damn good in her current position. And extra accuracy on melee skills and extra crit on melee skills. Well, I guess then, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to take a stunner. It can't be Bohun, because if Bohun's a stunner, then Bohun's not going to be able to hit the lines that I really want him to. Uh, I guess if I'm taking a stunner here, I might be able to take... Nolan or Deporter, you are a Ruins Tactician, evasive as well. Alright, we're taking Bohun. Sorry, Nilnan. Uh, and I guess we can take Nilnan. Give him his Stun em All. Where's his Stun em All? There we are. Cudgel Weight. And he does need to be a little more accurate, actually, if I am going to be taking him. So I'll increase his accuracy with the Steady Bracer. Any other ranged accuracy increase? Hang on, let's just sort by rarity again. Is there any ranged accuracy increase that I really want to be giving him specifically? No, not really. Mm. Okay. Now we need to figure out who's going to be supporting us. We need a healer, and we actually, shittily enough, we would need two. Or just one... You know what? I actually might take Faton. You are lower leveled, but I do need an AoE healer, specifically because we're going up against the Gibbering Prophet. Uh, and also, I can't have you get stunned, so I need stun resistance. I wish I was able to... Like, I wish there was a little panel here that I could just click and say stun, and then it would show me all the trinkets that have things related to stun resistance. Well, stun. Totally. So it would be stun resistance and other effects. I'm, I'm not so certain that I'm going to be able to find stun resistance is the biggest problem here. So other than that, there is just increase her dodge. Actually, no, I have stun resistance and dodge. Wilbur's flag. Wilbur's flag, mother flippers. How did I not even think about that? Okay, you go there and then where about... Here comes my baby. Sybil says that she walked out the door. You have unerring, you have quick reflexes. You also have quick reflexes. See, I don't want to take the light sensitive because I am going to have to keep my torch that high. But unerring basically sets off light sensitive. Like, offsets rather than not sets off. So she's still better than Brayville. 
Unless I take enough accuracy to outweigh rabies. But you do have vertigo and you could get pulled to the front of the party. Okay, no, we're taking Roussel just for safety. Roussel, thank you. So I also ought to have you actually roll with your mark this time because your mark will actually decrease dodge. You've got your Iron Swan for the back line. You're not a stunning party member, so I'm not going to have you run your Babarak Yorp. Yorp, Adam. You're fine. She is slow, but that's still fine. Okay. Ranger, Ranger. Let's see what you're doing. Okay. I'm thinking it's almost certainly Rothwell Bandana plus Bullseye. But is there any way that it's not this combination? Is there any way that I am supremely undervaluing something else? Because let's think about it. Plus 20% damage in position 4. And then it's just negatives. Like, I don't use her debuff skills. Not at the moment. I don't use her heals. Sorry, I do want to use her heal skills sometimes. And reducing her heals received is kind of bad as well. Like, it's almost strictly better to put... Well, I say almost strictly better. I, I'm using strictly better in a completely incorrect way that you ought not to use it. But, that said, it's almost just a way better idea to give you, say, the Sun Ring. But actually what I'm considering is not the Sun Ring. I'm considering throwing on the Necromancer's Collar. Because the Gibbering Prophet is unholy. I believe it's Unholy Human. The Necromancer, what am I talking about? The Gibbering Prophet. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and also, this is going to give you a way better chance to just crit and instantly kill someone as soon as we start a fight. Which is going to be quite important to me. Alright. I think this is the party combination I want to run with. Got a lot of abilities to hit the back line. Getting shuffled around does matter to me, but not hugely... It is quite annoying, but not that annoying. Alright, let's go. Uh, I'm going to overstock on food. Yeah, overstocking on food should actually be fine. Now, Fulminate does exist in this upcoming fight, so we'll actually take six full anti-venoms there. And six full holy waters. Basically, I don't want to get caught in a position where someone has the death blow trigger from a blight. That would be kind of sad for me. And I'll take two medicinal herbs. And we'll go. Finally, resigned to his uncommon corporeal resilience, I lured him to the dig. There, I showed him the thing and detailed the full extent of my plans. Triumphantly, I watched as he tore his eyes from their sockets and ran shrieking into the shadows, wailing maniacally that the end was upon us all. I love, I absolutely love that. The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. It, it's six in all locations, damn. Basically, I have a 50-50 to choose the correct way to go here. And I forgot to take scouting on this mission as well. Oh, I'm actually sad. I'm actually a little bit saddened by that. By foul invention. But yeah, that's a really good way to write a Lovecraftian story. To have... Oh god, that was... That's bad. That is bad. You have a marked target now. Thankfully, the marked target is in the back row, so it's difficult for the cultist champions to get to them. We'll stun this guy before he gets his action out. I really need to kill the Cultist Witch as soon as possible. That's not going to do it. Okay, we've got the Iron Swan to possibly clean him. Shouldn't work. I've never actually been moved by that, even on characters that had no move resistance. As the enemy crumbles. Uh, I'm very unlikely to hit a stun, so... I think I'll just do the party heal, actually. Uh, without the Tome of Holy Healing, she's a lot less powerful. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Resist the stun because you... What? Excuse me? Her stun resist should be like 90. 
Yeah, 105. Excuse me? I... <laughs> no. That's shitty. That's really shitty. Stun him. This one's... In there, similarly appalling. There we go. Advantage. Give them no quarter. This one tries to act this turn. Can roll the stun on this character quite easily. Doesn't get to act. Unfortunately, that's all I can really do right now. Oh, cool! It actually swapped them in such a way that it gave it the stumbling scratch. That's actually really, really useful. Thank you. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Ah, and a crit on the character that needed the healing. Wow, that was really good for us. Flurry of Claws does basically no damage whatsoever. Continue I'm still supremely unsport. unimpressed with that ability. I've never Destroy seen it be useful. Them all. all right. Here's the die that we're rolling. I'm going to go up and across. I'm going to have to backtrack a six... Total six rooms in order to get to go down another six rooms. Oh, this could be bad. If the boss isn't down here, this could be really bad. I want to be surprising the opponents more. Mm. Also want to be surprising them more. Damn it! That's actually really annoying. I might have to have the Vestal possibly try and roll the Judgment Kill. Don't even manage to get a stun off. Oof. Masterfully executed. God damn it! The Cultist Witch is still alive after that. So I have to still roll that. Broken. The whole point Maintain was to try and free up the Vestal to be able to heal. That's the whole point of doing what I just did, and it didn't even work out. Flurry of Claws. Well, at least the only marked target is way in the back, so it's not that bad, but it is quite bad. Stun the guy what hasn't moved yet. Make life easier on myself, or easier, rather. Nice crit on that heal. Solid. Very solid attack there. And single target heal because he's also got the heal received buff from the battlefield bandages. Lash of the tail for the stun possible move back. Probably gonna stun. Really? You resisted. Perfect. That really needed to happen there. Excuse me? This same guy resisted both bleeds. He shouldn't be alive. Oh, that's annoying. Thank you for the crit heal. Okay, now I feel good about just finishing this fight. This slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. I'd love to get a bolo off. Very quickly here. Day. Shit. Reeling. About to break. That's quite annoying. Okay, we can actually stall out for a while. I'm gonna stall out and try and get some heals here. We've got battlefield bandages for another critical. Good god damn. And we'll do a single target heal here. And that enemy is just gonna bleed to death as soon as he starts his turn. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. I'm probably going to have to backtrack through here, so I don't know if I want to even spam the spell and uh, skeleton key yet. Okay. I might actually read books and bookcases at this point, just to try and get myself a map. Shambler's Altar. Oh, we did get a surprise on them, though. That's good. Come on, the reason I have you wearing that goddamn collar is to kill that target. Right. Stun the only one that actually de uh, deals damage. Shit. 
She's the only target that actually really needed healing, so it was no reason not to just roll that for her. Bump in the Night does no damage, so I really don't care. Oh, wow. It actually gives you a debuff now. That's quite annoying. Phew. At least we're able to kill him. I did not know there was a debuff from Bump in the Night now. Quite annoying. can be beaten. So many enemies give you debuffs. They didn't used to. I remember... I remember back in my day that uh, most enemies didn't have a debuffing skill. Mm. That was half old man, half Yoda, but if you think about it, Yoda is kind of an old man, so... Oh! Oh, we surprised him! Oh, we surprised him! We're gonna be able to stun this guy as well. Okay. This is big. This is really big. Okay, 90% chance to hit. And about 204% chance to stun. Oh, baby. This is very good. I'm gonna roll the damage. There's no reason not to try and roll that. He does get stun resistance. I've got increased speed on this target. Like, hella increased speed. I can probably still hit this stun, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it, collector. Collect these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> okay, that was a bit more crude than I wanted to go. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. And uh, honestly, isn't that the most important thing? Ah, crap. You gotta collect call off. Okay, now I can iron swan you, I guess. Solid. Another 10 damage. Basically, I'm just trying to kill the Collector before he does anything. And it looks like it might work as long as the Vestal doesn't heal it. And never mind, it's actually shit. Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> uh, that might actually be the best Collector fight of all time, maybe? I feel like of all time is a little bit... It's a little bit boastly. If that's a word. It's a little bit boastful. There we go. That's the word that I was looking for. It's a little bit too boastful for my kind of feeling. But at the same time, it was real dope. A nice devastating hit. Blow. What a devastating blow indeed. I need to stun this guy who's doing a bunch of extra damage and a bunch more crits. Yeah. Sure, you can increase his health. I don't give a shite. There goes the Vestal. I have given myself a debuff, but there goes the Vestal, which is good enough for me. You have more dodge than everyone else. Uh, actually, you don't. You have some dodge. You don't have as much dodge as I thought you would have. Okay. Keep rolling that attack. It's just going to keep healing you up and keep critting on the heal. Damn. I like that the heal and the crit on the damage are rolled independently. I like that a hell of a lot, to be honest. Very nice. Singular strike. That might actually be the best Shambler fight that I've... It's definitely the best Shambler fight I've ever seen. I don't know if it's the best one ever, though. It's quite a title to try and take. Alright. Kind of annoyed that still didn't work. I'm gonna have to do a backline slap kind of thing. Alright. Stun this guy before he acts. And Iron Swan is going to have to hit the back line. Kill that Bone Royalty before they act again. Nice. I'm actually going to get on top of my heels here. You can have Fatone, the Vestal. Sure. No point with that. Uh, I'm actually going to stun you this time. Uh, probably should have just stunned the Bone Sergeant, to be honest. Yeah, that would have been clever. Or more clever, rather, than what I ended up doing. Spear thrust. Yeah. Just try and heal her. I want to keep everyone's health relatively equal. I could have rolled the crit and gotten that kill, but... It wasn't super likely. I do want to keep everyone's health kind of equal. So that I can party heal if I really feel stressed out about things. On you again. 
This guy has relatively low speed, so I should be acting before him with at least one person. Well nice! Done. Very solid attack there. I think I can do single target heal again. If the Vestal takes damage, then I'll start doing more dedicated attacks. Okay, Arbalist. It's your time to shine, baby. Just continue stunning specifically you. It's the Arbalist time to shine. Oh, that's what I didn't want. Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want. Well, at least I have the full party heal off the back of that. Unless, of course, I'm too good. This expedition at least promises success. I don't actually mean to say that in a boastful manner, by the way. I mean to say unless one of my characters rolls too well, basically, is what I mean there. Alright, yeah, I'm going to have to backtrack, unfortunately. But luckily, I know it two rooms ahead of time. I'm not going to go down that whole area just so that I can backtrack a bunch. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no. I'm actually considering the Shambler's Altar, but it really depends on how well the fight goes. Because I... I could do the Shambler with this... this setup. I could. It's theoretically possible. And... now we're on the road again. Perfect. Satiable ghoul. Uh, this is going to be quite annoying. All right, I'm going to try and pepper these front targets down. Perfect. This is going to give me a better ability to try and roll a stun on the Insatiable Ghoul, which connects. Perfect. Grave Nibble for a possible stun. Never mind, we dodged. Um, I'm actually going to roll for the kill on that Grave Maggot so I don't have to worry about it anymore. I can actually possibly stun again, 70%-ish. Nice. I could have rolled with the bleed. I don't think that would have been supremely relevant. Crit's on the only character that couldn't use the crit heal, nice. Skeltos, she's not going to be stunned. She will take the stress damage though. Really difficult to stun her. The fact that she has been stunned in this dungeon before is surprising to me. And we're A OK now. Perfect. Everyone's in a pretty good position. Enemy is down. No, unfortunately, I can't afford to throw any of these away yet. Boom, baby. Ritual relieves the hero. Relieve 30 stress damage. That's going to be pretty important because there are certain stress attacks in the Formidating Prophet fight. Oh, this should be easy. I'm going to go for a single target kill rather than the Bolo to try and work them down. If I'd surprised them, I would have gone for the Bolo, but I didn't. A decisive pummeling. I did attack, by the way, the only person who had already acted that round, so I could have prevented more actions. In retrospect, I think it was wrong to... Oh, God, I forgot to use the single target. Whoops. In retrospect, I think it was wrong to try and attack the unit that I thought was going to do more damage, a rather than... Victory. But a victory, nonetheless. Rather than just suck it up and go, Oh, okay. I guess I'll attack the person that hasn't attacked yet. The thought process behind it was, oh, I'll just take all the DPS out first and I won't have to worry then. But they were still rolling blights. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I really would like some scouts so I don't... Yeah, so many traps everywhere. Should only be one trap per corridor though food. I'm gonna actually have you feast as well. I'm surprised I got as many scouts as I did in the early game, to be honest, but I still am interested in seeing more. Okay, so there is gonna be one fight before the final. 
I think I will backtrack after the main fight in order to pick a bunch of stuff up. It will stress out my characters, but... Shrug, I guess, is my response to that. It will stress them out, but shrug. Okay, fire with time. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Um, I actually can prevent the nighttime ambush, but I think I might just have to deal with the possibility of the nighttime ambush. Because otherwise I have to miss out on some really, really good things that I could use. But if I get nighttime ambushed, I'll get shuffled, and then if I get shuffled, I'm going to have a horrible time with it. I'm going to actually take that risk. I usually don't like taking risks like this, but I think this is important to do. To just make ourselves as powerful as possible. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Oh, wow. You guys are screwed. The ground quakes. What? Huh? You're a speed of five and you're acting before me. Just don't disease anyone and we're fine. Resisting those stuns, nice. Yeah, whatever. I was gonna try and do a little bit of healing there, but I don't need to. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. So if I don't eat a bunch of food before I go into the fight. Victory. Okay, I'm gonna take away that debuff so that you could possibly be shuffled without a problem. I'm gonna pop holy water on everyone. I'm not gonna eat all of the food before going to the fight because I do need that food if I get a trigger of hunger while I'm backtracking for the Shambler's Altar, possibly, depending on whether or not I go for that. Now, I do need to change some of these abilities. There was one of these in particular that's not gonna help. Breakthrough is not gonna help, so I may as well put Adrenaline Rush on to save myself from Death's Door. And it was... The other one was... Where are we? Illumination. Dazzling Light can't even hit the back row. I may as well have Illumination. There's no reason not to. Ah, uh, yes. The Mark. And Blind Fire is also not going to be relevant. I guess I'll put in Rallying Flare just in case that happens to be important. Alright, let's go. Just making sure everything is set up right. Let's go. The madman hides there, behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. Look at this calamitous prognostication that has occurred here. There's our mark. Debuff his dodge literally entirely away. Pop a dog treats and we'll start running at him as soon as we can. He is unholy. Not, un not unholy human as I thought he was, but he's just unholy. That's fine though. Rolls eye on you. That's some stress damage plus a small amount of... Ooh, it's also a stun, apparently. Interesting. I did not think that was true. Um, I'm going to get on top of the heels. I'm going to try and bring everyone up to full health before I start losing. What the hell? Double dodge? That might have just gifted the entire boss fight to us. 30 damage. Nice. Arbalus is now actually going to be able to roll for between 17 and 39 damage with almost a 40% chance to crit. This is actually insanity, by the way. <laughs> oh, he's being shredded. Vision. The end approaches. Oh god, what? Okay, they don't even have high dodge, by the way. I've got 33, sure. 33 and... Four, oh, 40? Oh, the camping skill, of course. I forgot that he's used, or I have used recently, the camping skill that makes that easier. Own demise? I care not, so long as he remains dead. That was absurd. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Uh, I'm never really going to take a debuff stone with me. Yeah. 
either. I'm actually going to backtrack. We're going to see if we can pick up things along the way. If I have a hunger event, then I'm just going to leave immediately. Because getting another hunger event is going to start stressing my characters out. And they'll take a bunch of damage. I believe they take 20 stress damage and 20% of their max HP in damage. Yeah, there's our hunger event. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a very long time before I get to my next thing. We're leaving. I would have gone for the Shambler, but I didn't have enough food ultimately. That... I've... Good lord. Incredible collector fight, and then an incredible gibbering profit fight. By the way, I'm not claiming that I did those well. I dodged on two characters without specifically outfitting them for dodge. I was outfitting them for accuracy and damage, right? And they got the dodges anyway. So basically, RNG was hugely in my favor, probably trying to make up for the horrible, horrible occurrences of some other fights. Faton went from level 4, by the way, all the way to level 6. That's kind of insane. I also want to get misses to spot off of you, as well as the fits. Quick reflexes were replaced by Ruins Adventure. All of these are pretty bad, but... So what? We managed to kill a boss. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. Unequip everything and sort? Very nice. Very nice looking inventory indeed. And we've got the Prophet's Eye. Extra accuracy if in position 4. Extra speed if in position 4. And lower stress damage taken if in position 4. Now, I still don't have the Tome of Foley Healing. Unfortunately, the rewards have changed. So I, that's not a Tome. That's, yeah, that Book of Holiness. God damn it. It's offering me a lot of different ways to get a Sacred Scroll, but... I had the choice to take a Sacred Scroll or a Tome of Holy Healing before, and guess which I took. Exactly. Alright, let's see if we have a low-level healer and a low-level frontline party member, because if we do, we have a party going. Uh, you're deadly... I could take you as a healer if I really have to. Resilience... I mean, I kind of want to take this so I can build, like, a aggressive occultist. Huge crit mods. No Vestal. That's what I'm seeing here. No Vestal. Argomania, Resilient. Oh, wow. Resilient's actually going to be really good on you. Increase your own stress heal. Actually, it would increase it by one at max level. Okay, that's not that great. Stout, Robust. Eh. Nervous. Eh. Ruin Scrounger. None of these are amazing. On guard, natural eye. Hang on. That's actually still pretty good. I kind of want to take Bovan. But the problem with taking Bovan is uh, that's not a frontline party member, and I already have a bunch of you. Like, do I want Photomania, or do I want On Guard plus Natural Eye? I think I want On Guard plus Natural Eye, which means I sell you bear. Yeah, I think that's correct. All right, Ubit, goodbye. This one has become vestigial, useless. Take Bavan. You want to take one of the healers? Do I want to take the High Crit or do I want to take the, I guess, Resilient? He's not allowed to gamble. I'll go with the safer play and just take Bordeaux. Although I will have to teach you Sacrificial Stab if I want to use it. Really? Deadly is good. Uh, I don't think it's good enough on a character that I'm going to have to focus on using as a healer. Although, again, I'm starting to double-guess myself on that. It's like, is that strictly true? No, I don't think I can afford with the negatives on... Pico, so we'll take Bordet. To and fight the abyss, one must know it. We'll take Monsell just as a frontline party Mighty member. Sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. Only reason for that is so that I can make a party. So I've got like Monsell, Dubois, uh, Alfrey, Sakerville. And that's if I don't want to take a healer. Or I could give Sakerville a heal. And keep Monsell's heal. I could actually do a decent party with that. 
I guess I'd be using Dubois and Alfrey as kind of bleed and blight control. Now, hang on, what was my last party? Because I do want to name someone, because that was shit hot. It really was. Nilnan, Roussel. Roussel, you need a name. Bodecock has already got a name. Nilnan is a name. Faton. I think Faton might be a name that I came up with, actually. FT would have been the seeding letters. Fucking terrific, I imagine. Uh, all right, Roussel, you have earned a name. You are on guard and unerring, so we'll give you an O and a U. Let's find that dictionary. Okay, letter O, where are we? Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Oh, okay, that's where O is, perfect. Uh, one, O, N, E. Mmm. And the other one was U. I don't know if this will work. One undo. <laughs> one undo. One undo. You know what? Oni undo. Oni undo? I can totally call you Oni undo. I'm fine with that. Now, there has been a suggestion. This suggestion in real life was made about two days ago. But in terms of this series, it would have been made three or four weeks before this video comes out and that's that if someone performs super amazingly and they already have a name that they ought to earn another now bodecock i'm definitely looking at you very closely i don't know if i want to see the way that i think i would do it is like bodecock the crit ah oh, damn it i can't get a full name Damn it. I don't know if I'm going to have the space for those kinds of things. Because... How many letters do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so I've got 7. So I'd only be able to take a 3-letter word and a 4-letter word. The way I wanted to do it is like... Bodecock the Fierce. Or something like that. And give those out as rewards. Oh, well, unfortunately, that doesn't look possible at the moment. Regardless, let me just say that my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Darkest Dungeon. Goodbye to the Gibbering Prophet and the Collector. Rip in pepperoni. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves, and we'll see you next time.